Hi everybody, this is Ryan from Marine Parts Source, and in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about anodes and why they're so important for protecting your boat. Now when your boat goes in the water, it's going to be exposed to electrolytes that can affect the metal components that are underneath the water line. These electrolytes can cause corrosion and oxidation of these components really quickly and uh, cause a lot of damage. I'm talking about components like the lower unit of your outboard motor or a stern drive if you have one. If your hull is made of metal, then that would be affected. A rudder or a bow thruster, any of these things can be affected by these electrolytes and so it's important to protect them, and you do so with anodes. And the way that it works is that anodes are made with a particular metal alloy that will attract those electrolytes first. So the anode will decay and corrode, but the components of your boat will be protected. Now there are three different types of alloys that anodes are available in, magnesium, zinc, and aluminum. And depending on what type of water your boat is in will determine which alloy you want to purchase. So if your boat is residing in fresh water, like an inland lake or a river, then magnesium is going to be the preferred choice for you. Uh, if your boat is in salt water, traditionally for many decades people have used zincs, and they work pretty well. But in recent years it's been discovered that aluminum anodes actually work a little bit better. They last a little bit longer, they're lighter, in some cases they may be more expensive, but they perform just overall better than a zinc does. Now if your boat goes into brackish water, traveling to and from fresh and salt water, then an aluminum anode is really going to be ideal for that situation. Now as you can see in front of me, there are a lot of different shapes and sizes of anodes, depending on the application, depending on what you need. Um, you see these kits here, which are a collection of anodes that may fit on an outboard motor or a stern drive. These are from Martyr Anodes, and uh, it's a really convenient way to get all of the anodes that you're going to need for your unit. This is for a 150 horsepower Yamaha outboard. This one here is for a Mercruiser Alpha 1 stern drive. And there are other kits available for other applications as well. You can also buy these anodes individually if you just need to replace one. But typically, if you're replacing one, you need to replace them all. It's just good uh, practice. So that's what we suggest. Additionally, you can see here that we have a whole anode. These come in different sizes. Uh, this would be a prop shaft anode. Again, they have different sizes depending on the size of your shaft. Uh, this here is a rudder anode, and again, these come in multiple sizes as well. This is called an engine anode, or sometimes they're called pencil anodes. Uh, it just threads into the engine, and again, these come in different diameters. And this funny looking thing here is a grouper anode. These are typically used on smaller boats, and the way that it works is you just connect it to the battery terminal and then throw this over the side of the boat and helps to protect it. So with all these different types of anodes that are out there, the different alloys that are available, sometimes people can get confused about what's the right ones for their application. So if you get into trouble, if you have questions, feel free to give us a call at Marine Parts Source. Our number is 866-388-0390. Our experts can help you to identify the correct components for your application. You can also visit us online at marinepartsource.com. We really appreciate you guys watching this video today. Please make sure and like and subscribe so that you can get more great content from Marine Parts Source in the future. Thanks so much.